Well, hello again. Here we are at Tatagafy, and today we're going to check out a really cool collector vision game from 2017 called Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe. If you haven't checked this out, it's just it's a fun game. Uh, it's fun to play. The adventure is really cool. I personally have only gotten so far because I'm only so good, but um, really fantastic game. Let's give it a look. Your vision is our vision. Coleco Vision. So the animations on this game specifically are just really cool. The way the little character runs, uh, the music is neat and not too repetitive. And even when it is, or even when it repeats, it's just interesting. All you do to start is press the button. There's a little story to start. You're Sydney Hunter, the great adventurer. You've been exploring the Yucatan Peninsula, seeking treasures. As you traveled, you were captured in the night by a mysterious tribe. Although they, oh man, although they claimed to blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I missed it. All right, so um, when you jump, you don't have to push as you jump. I am facing this way, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna jump this way. So I try to pass this guy. <gasps> Greetings, stranger, we don't wanna harm you. Our people are in trouble. Our P, uh, and we need your help. I started reading again. We've lost access to the sacred doorway, which leads to the ancient Mayan city. Bum, bum, bum. Can you find it? Uh, all right, so I just have to find the ancient, yeah, whatever. I won't, but I'll get close. So every screen has a different thing. This, or not every screen, but they have these a variety of things. So here you slowly sink. You have to jump to stay up there. Now I'm not pushing to the left, it's just jumping, although I usually would push to the left. So here is an example of a secret that I learned later. So I kept playing, I'm going this way, but it's very clear that there's an arrow there and you can go that way. I'm gonna go this way just because I haven't for a while. The last time I played, I went the other way. And a lot of it's just timing. Obviously, you fall in that hole. You can hit, if you hit the bat, you die. And I think this is just a really tough jump. I haven't done this in a while. I went the other way. I played uh, a week or so ago. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's a great use of color and design. They've just done a really good job. Oh, I did not make that jump. Now I lost the line. Thank you. Thank you very much. Should have gone the way I went, because I was really, I was doing pretty darn good. So you tr you have to get enough of these, um, of the uh, diamonds. If you see at the bottom, I've collected three, but I think you need 60 on the first level. Again, it's just, uh, just a timing thing that I failed. Uh, and then it's one to the right, and then it's two to the left, and one to the so after the two I go, I may just have to start this one over from those Now, I don't remember going this truck. Oh, this is back where, this is where I could have gone before. I was thinking that was different. Oh, I gotta go back. I'm gonna go this way. Since I've died twice, hopefully I'll do better as we go. Um, so you start learning the patterns and different things to do. Um, oh, and see, I turned colors when I grabbed that. I turned to this uh, purpley color, and I'm not harmed by the creatures when that happens. So now I have... So you're going to have to start learning what the patterns are and what the tunnels are. Let me go down and see what goes that way. Now, I, at one point, of course, when you play for a while, you get really good at that stuff. The funny thing is, every time I get on the ladder, I want to uh, press up and then press up again, like on Donkey Kong, because last week we played on CV Lunatics, that was the, the ch game challenge or whatever. So I can't really get, there's nowhere to go here, I would die. So I have to go back, but there's probably something on the other side of that because that's how caverns and games like this work. Boy, you really gotta be close on that one. 
All right, so let me continue this way now. So I've kind of gone as far as I can there. Um, I just love his animation. I think it's really fantastic. So this leads down here. Um, I don't think that, that can really get you, but it sure does bug you when it comes up or it startles you. And most of this is on as time, so you have to um, learn when to do this. I think there's lots of stuff to the left, but man, oh man. So there's one thing that tricked me at first. I think I'm coming up to it. Oh. I'm not coming up to it. Go this way, so I will come back around and I will find it that way. Oh, I think it may be up here. No, it's not. I'm thinking incorrect. Did I go this way yet? I think this is a pretty tough way to go, and I think it all loops back around, but I'm going to try it. This way it's been exactly here, I think. Yeah, I really haven't played this. Um, uh, like I said, I played it like a week or so ago. So this guy can't kill me because I'm purple right now. But you can also avoid him if you're if you're crafty. So I go here, and then there's more this way. This is definite time, which I have failed. You know when you get in that panic mode and you try to get there and you, like you can't go up the ladder. I go up a hundred times in a game. Oh, uh, just trying to show you guys something in then. <laughs> I, I'm too good at killing myself. I guess trying to think I'm cool and know stuff. That's what I get. I kind of think I'm cool. That's something I'm definitely not. Okay, how do I get that? I do not remember how to get that one. I don't know what it is. Very confused. No, you can get... Oh! You can jump from over there and make it over there. Alright, um... Which way should I go? I'm gonna go up first and see what's up here. Did I already do this? Nope. All right, this is the one I think that fooled me. So for the longest time, there's a wall there. I can't go that way, but you can go that way. It's not really a wall. So that's one of the things I didn't find the first time. Whereas that looks like there could be a passageway, but there's not. So you have to try a little of everything to figure everything out. So, and I would say a lot of the stuff isn't difficult. It's the culmination of all of it where you do run into like, ooh, how am I going to solve this? Um, as you've seen, I just died at the weirdest time. For this. That's how you get that. I don't know why I didn't get that other one. I'm going to have to go over there again and see what I did wrong. I think there's a couple ways to go this way too. Ooh, I almost did it again. <laughs> I still had a life. I thought I was dead. Maybe I gained one somehow. Maybe I can get another one because I need one. I keep dying. That last one was definitely one of those panic maneuvers. I don't think so. No, this is where I went and showed you the last one. Okay. But this way, I've been this way too. Oh. I can't think. I went to jump. Oh, I don't know. I can't recall. Oh, and that, that one little dude sometimes dive bombs at you. The, um, a B or whatever it is. Haven't gone this way yet. Oh, so if you go here, he tells you, dude, you need 60 diamonds. And I currently have 12 or 6 or 24. So it could be worse, but not a lot. So that, um... When I first did that, I learned, oh, I've got a long way to go. Oh, and then if you get through level one, there are codes, so you, you can jump right to level two and three. Um, I kept working on mastery and failing, so... Oh, okay, so there's a diamond over here, I recall, but then you're, like, blocked off. Then over here... 
I gotta get this dude, but that's cool, because I'm safe. Oh. Now you sink as you go, so it's a good thing I'm safe, because it's hard to get out of there. Now I'm turning back. Hornet dude jives at me. Now there's nothing down there. I believe I went down there and tried. Or died, or, <laughs> or both. Tried and died. Oh! My gosh, I've done that before, and I hate when I do that. Gotta learn the pattern. Two left, one right. I remember doing that long ago in the past. This is kind of tough to get to because the dude likes to dive bomb. So if you go when he's facing the other way, he won't dive bomb. Or he'll do it after. Oh, well. I thought there was something up here. He gives me some advice or something. Now, with no lives, this is going to be tough. <laughs> no, it's going to be impossible. Um, anyway, super great game. Um, you go through the pattern, you learn the different skills, and um, highly recommend. I have a great time with this game. I really need to get through level one again and just work at level two for a while. So what I did is I got really good at it, played some other games, got good, got through level one, maybe through level two, and then I didn't get any farther. <laughs> um, I, I do enjoy going back and playing the ones I have played, and that's a way to get back into it but a lot of times it takes a lot of time and effort to get through this and then get to the next one get to the next one so it's well worth you know anything you pay for it it's a it's a game that you can grow with so anyway highly recommend hope you enjoyed um i, I there's a there's another game a sydney hunter game that i only have on the phoenix um because it's cartridge this came I think when i got the second one so i'll try to make a video of that possibly down on the phoenix and bring it up and maybe talk about how bad i am or something i don't know thanks for watching hitago i hope you enjoy